Hello everyone. Let us look into this problem what cutters today. Uh, this is a DP problem. This is a pretty simple problem. It's it's not truly a DP problem. It's a it's a mathematical problem, but can be um, solved in multiple different different ways. So what this problem says is that uh, there are entries. Okay. So there are entries located along the roads with coordinates some x1, x2, xn, and all other trees are of height h1 h2 hn okay and the trees needs to be cut so when the tree is cut it can either fall on the left side or on the right side okay and uh, the only condition of uh, tree either falling on the right side or left side is that uh, that particular coordinate should be empty it should not be occupied by any other any other tree which has fell on the road okay so what we now need to do is we need to find out the maximum number of trees that can be fell uh, given a certain set of configurations Okay, so we will look into, uh, so let's say this is, this, this is the road, okay. And this is some tree, this is some other tree. So let's say the height is 2, this height is, maybe this is coordinate number 1, coordinate number 2, coordinate number 3, coordinate number 4. This has got a height of, let's say 7. This has got a height of 1. Uh, this has got a height of let's say 10 okay so in this case what we can do is now we have like multiple choices that we can make right so this tree number one it can if it falls on the right side if it falls on the right side then it goes on to occupy from here to here one to three okay which means two cannot fall in this case okay but if if we just take a simple choice that the first tree falls on the left side okay then the second tree can fall the second tree can either fall here or it can either fall here because both of these both of the sides are empty but if you now look at the third tree which is of height 7 it cannot fall either on the left side or the right side because if it falls it goes much beyond here it goes much beyond here and those will not be those will be occupied places and if we look at the fourth tree it definitely cannot fall here but it can fall on the right side okay because right side is entirely empty so the maximum number of tree that can fall in this scenario is 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so in similar ways given a set of configuration, we have to find out what is the maximum number of trees that can fall. Okay, so let us go about solving this problem and see how, how, uh, how we can solve this problem. This is a mathematically very, very simple problem. So one way to solve it is to so let's say given any configuration okay let's say if given this configuration we will always try to make the tree fell on the left side first okay this should be our preference because it gives the next tree an opportunity to fall either on the left side or on the right side but let's say if we give priority to let's say trees falling on the right side the problem is that we are taking some space okay we are taking some space from the next tree to fall but if we if we just keep uh, making trees fall in the left hand direction then we have got like a lot more space for the next tree to fall okay so that is the most important strategy that we are going to use okay and uh, the final strategy that we are going to use is that the left tree the first tree is always going to fall on the left side there is no way that this tree can fall on the right side okay because again based on the same logic if it falls on the right side it's going to occupy some space from the next tree Okay, so these are the two strategies which we will use to solve this particular question. Okay, so now with that, with that information, in case I'll directly go into uh, writing code, or maybe I can just write pseudo code and solve it here because the code is also not heavy here. So what it says is that you, you, we have got the first is the number of trees, and then we have configurations. Okay, so the first thing that we will have to do is declare a variable int n and take its input c in n okay and <clears throat> then we have to take a variable int max tree fell okay and we'll increase we'll keep this variable as one because the first tree is always going to fall doesn't matter what configuration it is always going to fall on the left side so which is why we are going to keep this configuration as uh, one this this initial value as one now we are going to take four variables okay so let's say i call it x comma y comma last x comma last y okay so we'll keep a track of the last tree so this is 
this will be used uh, for calculation so just in case the last three fell on the right hand side we need to calculate what is the remaining space okay <coughs> okay so now now that we have said that the first tree has fell which means that the last x and last y belongs to the first tree okay and after that we are going to have a loop so we will simply start a loop here for int i equals to 1 to i smaller than n i plus plus get the configurations for the current tree which is c in x y okay and now now what we are going to do is if now if last tree fell okay if the last tree has not actually fallen down then what so there could be multiple conditions right if the, if the last tree has fallen down if the last tree has not fallen down what all what all we can do right so if the last tree has not fallen down and sorry if the last tree has not fallen down and last x plus so this y is actually a height okay this is this is a height okay last of y is smaller than x so this says this says that the last tree has not fallen okay so the, the configuration is like this there is a tree there is a tree we are at this position the last tree has not fallen down so we are calculating if we can make it fall on the right hand side okay so what we have checked is if last x plus its height is smaller than current x then we are going to say maximum tree fell plus equals to 1 okay now now this last tree has actually fallen on the right hand side now is there is still some space left here there is still some space left here right so what we are going to do is if x minus y which is the height so current coordinate minus the height is greater than last x plus last y okay because the tree has fallen on the right hand side we see it here the tree has fallen on the right hand side so we have only limited space so we are saying if the current x minus its height is greater than the coordinate of the felling after the felling of the last tree then what we are going to do is we are going to make the current tree fell as well okay so current tree now becomes the last tree which is last tree fell equals to true okay in this case and along with that similarly max tree fell plus equals to 1 so this is the first condition okay let's go on to the second condition wherein the last tree has actually actually the last tree has fallen down okay so what we need to now do is else if x minus y so in this case so this was the case so this case was this is last tree last tree okay and then we consider the last tree falling on the right hand side and we also check the probability of the current tree falling on the left hand side okay but if let's say the last tree has actually fallen down which it means that in this scenario that we are going to talk the last tree has fallen down on the left hand side so we have so this is again the last tree and so we have this entire space here so what we are saying is if x minus y is greater than last x which means the coordinate of the last tree okay and so so we, we we also need a very small condition here which is so these are these are normally only for let's say checking for those corner cases here okay and if i is smaller than n minus 1 then all that we are going to do is make max tree fell plus equals to 1 and last tree fell equals to true as well okay and eventually there will be one final condition here and that would be around when the tree cannot be so we have looked into all the condition we have looked into the condition wherein the last tree fell on the right side 
okay and we have also looked into the condition when we we could have made the tree fall either on the right hand side or on the left hand side so these two conditions here okay but if these two conditions do not satisfy then it simply means that the last tree cannot uh, cannot actually fall down so so all that we need to now do is make last tree fell equals to fall here which means this tree sorry falls here okay which means this tree cannot falls cannot fall down okay so this is a scenario like this wherein this the tree the height is 7 so irrespective of whether we want to make it fall on the left side or on the right side we cannot make it fall down okay so these are the only conditions and then you have to just change the variables here which means last of x will become x and last of y will become y okay so this is the only thing the other the one last thing that can happen now is now what has happened until now is that you have looked into all the trees and let's say this is the last tree so until this loop has completed you have attempted making this tree fall on the left hand side okay so there is one final condition that we all need to take care of is that if last tree fell okay if the last tree has not really fallen down we can make it fall in fall down on the right hand side without any constraint so what we need to now do is just uh, put max tree fell plus equals to one okay and now we can simply uh, see out our answer which is the max tree fell okay so this is the entire uh, logic of uh, the problem it wasn't really a db problem but uh, an interesting mathematical problem as well we solved it using greedy approach where then we always always uh, wanted to first make the tree fall on the left hand side and only if the tree cannot fall in the fall on the left hand side we tried making it fall on the right hand side okay but the attempt was that as we grow in the index we see we keep uh, we keep we keep a variable that captures the maximum tree that can be made to fall until that index okay so just revising quickly if this was the configuration the first attempt was to make it fall on the left hand side okay if it doesn't fall we don't do anything we simply mark the variable last tree fell as false we go here okay if the last tree has not fallen down we check if we can make it fall on the right hand side if we can make it fall on the right hand side well and good we make it fall but with this configuration what we also check is with the remaining space that we have can we make the current tree fall on the left hand side okay if we cannot make it fall on the left hand side we simply again make the variable current tree fell as false and then we move on to the next guy okay and if let's say now this guy cannot fall on the right hand side so this will not count as a count in incrementing the variable and will simply use the entire space to make this tree up make this current tree fall on the right left hand side the only exception being if let's say there is a tree that is on the end then we need to have this one final edgy check in the end because this guy has no constraint on falling on the right hand side so that's it about this video i hope uh, this concept is clear to you and uh, you have liked this video please like share and subscribe my channel